What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So happy new year to you guys. We are in the new year 2024. So I try to start up all my cars for the new year just because some of the cars don't get driven as much, especially like my turbo Mitsubishi Lancer show built. S2000 gets driven once in a while and then my daily RCF does get driven the most. But we'll be doing a little startup. I have all three sets of keys with me. So let's go ahead and start them up, run its fluids, let it run for a good 5-10 minutes, make sure engine's warm. Uh, as well as talk about a little car update for 2024. So here we have it, all three of my cars. The Lexus RCF, my Honda S2000, as well as my Turbo Mitsubishi Lancer show build. So yeah, let's go ahead and move them out of the garage. We're going to start them up. Gonna move the RCF out first, parked it right here, and then we're gonna move S2000 and Turbo Mitsubishi Lancer on the driveway. Okay, so first co start will be my Lexus RCF. This is my daily driver, so she does get driven the most. It is my 2017 Lexus RCF, also the newest of all my cars that I own. Uh, recently got this in August 2023, so let's go ahead and give a nice co start. So let's check out the interior real quick before I start it up for you guys. We do have more parts coming for the RCF, which we'll cover in a bit. But here's the gorgeous interior. Very nice and comfy. Great for daily driving. At the same time, packs a punch as well. Just started up the RCF right now. I'm gonna move it, parallel park it right up front so we can move the other two cars out. We'll let each car run its fluids for a few minutes. All right, RCF is here right now. We're gonna go ahead and move out the other two cars out of the garage. Now, let's go ahead and move out the turbo Mitsubishi Lancer built. This car haven't been started or driven for a while quite a few months i think the last time was when i brought this car back home from the family house so let's go ahead and give it a nice cold start and here's a little interior check love this car i just so much hard work money sweat tears over the years to building this car my pride of joy a lot of you guys watch my channel for this car Turbo Mitsubishi Lancer built out of the garage. Sounds amazing every time we do a nice post start. A little bit dusty, <laughs> but car looks amazing as always. All right, and just to give you guys an idea, this is how long I haven't moved out of the garage, all the leaves. So definitely give it a nice sweep down. Let's go ahead and start up the last car, the S2000, and pull her out of the garage. car the Honda S2000 it is out of the garage gorgeous car you guys know I love my S2000 because I've always wanted one for a few years so she's out of the garage nice little cold start
right, just got a few little cinematic shots right now. We're just gonna move all the cars back in their home in the little garage. So yeah, let's go ahead and move the Mitsubishi Lancer Turbo Build back in first. Alright, in the last car, my Lexus RCF, the daily driver. Go ahead and move her back on the driveway. I love this daily driver. Hope you guys like it too. Like I said, small little mods coming for it. Let's move this last car back on the driveway and then we'll talk about the 2024 updates on all three cars. Okay, so let's talk about the 2024 plans for each car. So 2023, quick little recap. Uh, we did have quite a bit of changes. Turbo Mitsubishi lens are built pretty much the same. S2000 had quite a few upgrades because I just got this car in 2022. Uh, and then we sold two cars. We sold my 8th gen Honda Civic Si and we also sold my Mitsubishi Lancer Rally Art uh, wagon build the sport back wheel so those two cars were sold and then we bought the Lexus RCF so quite a few changes in terms of selling cars getting a new car um, but 2024 I would say should be pretty mild so yeah let's talk about each car all right so right off the bat let's start with this car a lot of you guys are fans of the turbo Mitsubishi Lancer build um, I just made my eight-year video of ownership so going to 2024, it'll be my ninth year owning the car since brand new. I'm the only owner. Um, I don't have any plans to sell the car. So rest assured, this car will be staying. Uh, as for modifications, quite frankly, I don't really have any plans just because it's my masterpiece. You know, obviously there's always a lot more you can do to the car, like changing wheel setups, changing bumper, headlight setups, wing setups, seat setups. <clears throat> the list goes on. But as of right now, I don't really have any immediate plans for it. Oh, I did swap out the head unit on the car. So you guys might have saw a recent video. Um, the backup camera, the OEM backup camera, actually does not work with it. But I did get a wire. So I'll probably do a DIY install video. How to hook up your off-the-market head unit to the OEM radio, uh, OEM backup camera. Probably do a separate video on that. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm pretty happy with the way it is, how it drives, how it looks. Uh, might refine small little stuff on the car here and there. Um, my seat setup, currently I'm rocking the Braum Racing seats. I've had that for a while. I don't know if I want to swap it out to a different setup. I do have a, uh, just one bright Lomax Racing seat, the Strada 2s in the house is displayed right now. So maybe I'll throw in some red seats. What do you guys think? Should I throw in the bright red seat? If I do, I like matching seats, so that means I have to source another seat. Um, but uh, yeah, I've always wanted to do like a roll cage. Right now it's just a harness bar, but it's currently my only four-door car. So if I ever have to ferry people in the back seats, this will be it. But um, yeah, I'm very happy, like I said, with how it drives. Everything has been good, has been nice and smooth and reliable when I do drive it. Uh, even though I don't drive the car much, when I do drive it, I do push it. So. Uh, again, if you guys are wondering whether you should turbo your Mitsubishi Lancer, I've had it done now for this will be my fourth year being turbo. Uh, no regrets. I love how it looks, how it sounds. Um, obviously, you have to spend a little bit more money. And uh, the two things is you want to get good parts. Um, so if you have a shop to do it like I did, you know, go to a good shop so that install is done right. 
and make sure you get a good tuner as well. Alright, so next up we have the Honda S2000. This is my 2000 Honda S2000. Uh, S2000 has been a dream car of mine for quite a few years. And uh, for about four years I've been wanting one. I finally got myself one at the beginning of 2022. So stay tuned for an upcoming video on this car. We'll be talking about the two-year ownership. Uh, pretty much drove to Louisiana, bought the car, fairly bone stock, uh, and modified it, you know, uh, the past two years. So really excited. Um, plans for the car. I will be refining small little stuff here and there. The biggest thing is I do like my wheel setup, the Spoon SW388 wheels. However, I'm not sure if I want to change it up to something else. Uh, the spoon wheels are iconic wheels. They look great. The black on red looks great. But I also do have a set of T37s sitting in a box. I have some 17 inch bronze T37 sitting in a box. So I don't know. Maybe I'll throw them on the S2000. Um, if I do, I need new tires. Uh, maybe I'll sell a set. Maybe I'll sell the T37s. Maybe I'll sell the spoon wheels. Let me know what you guys think. They also did recently uh, came out with the Mugen MF10 wheels. They re-released it with King Motorsports in the bronze. And I absolutely love, you know, my JDM parts. So I love Mugen wheels. With Hondas, you know, the two big iconic brands are Spoon or Mugen. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I just keep the spoon setup or should I change it to the T37s that I have or should I sell them and get a set of Mugen MF10s? Let me know in the comment section below. Speaking of wheel setups, um, one thing is I also do plan to get big brakes. I don't know how soon if I'll do it this year, um, but eventually I do want to get a big brake kit for the S2000. Uh, still the soft brake setup with the spoon SW388 wheels. One good thing is it does clear the spoon big brake calipers. Um, I don't know if I want to go the spoon route because that's pretty common. I would love, love, love a set of endless big brick. But you know, endless big brick kit is expensive. So we'll see. Maybe we'll do spoon. Maybe we'll do endless. Maybe we'll do Jace racing. Maybe we'll do AP racing. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, if I do swap it to the T37s, it'll be a more concave setup. Uh, it'll look nice, but with the big brakes, if I ever do swap those out, I heard clearance is an issue. I might have to run a small spacer. Um, interior, I'm pretty happy. Uh, you know, I really did do up the interior quite a bit, uh, 2023. So, pretty happy with how it is. If anything, I might swap out the head unit. Right now, it's just an aftermarket one, but a single DIN, just with Bluetooth. Maybe I'll swap it out to, uh, you know, a nice touch screen with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, so I don't know, we'll see. Um, I was pretty close to rocking a big wing setup, the Voltex Type 2, which I still do have and is for sale, but that is of a DC2 Integra and unfortunately did not fit my S2000, so yeah, I keep going back and forth, should I rock the clean setup with the duckbill, OEM Plus look, or should I rock like a big wing, a Voltex wing? Rock an aggressive diffuser, carbon fiber hood, so very Trek inspired, kind of like the Lancer, um, but we'll see. I don't know. For now, I'm just gonna enjoy the clean look. Uh, so many mods I wanna buy for the S2000, honestly. Even the tail lights, nothing wrong with these, but I do love the Car Shop Glow tail lights. Uh, so yeah, list goes on, you know, on the S2000 build, but I enjoy it. I love it. Um, like I said, it's been a dream car of mine, so I'm glad that I was able to get my hands on one uh, about two years ago. All right, so we have the newest kit on the block. So this is my daily driver, my Lexus RCF. It is a 2017 RCF, and among my cars, this is the newest addition to the family. Um, this is my daily driver, so I do drive this car, you know, every day to work. Um, the plan for this car, you know, since I got it in August 2023, I do still plan to slowly build it, but I'm going to do more like an OEM Plus build. I'm not going to go crazy because it's my daily driver. Um, my sister joked that I need to make sure this car is my wife friendly. <laughs> she doesn't like to ride along in any of my cars because they're loud, they're stiff. So I don't want to go too crazy on this. 
plans for 2024. Um, I did throw small little add-ons on this car when I got it. Um, so the carbon fiber goodies, like the carbon fiber fender vents, carbon fiber side mirrors. I did lower the car on Swift spec R lowering springs, which I think it looks a lot better. Um, wheel get was really bad from factory. Uh, you know, small little stuff like custom plates, little carbon vinyl pieces, swapped it out to the 2020 plus black Lexus badge. So small little, little bits I've done so far. Um, but 2024, I do want to get a carbon fiber front lip. So I think, you know, with it being freshly lowered, uh, it looks a lot better, but you know, I love my carbon fiber goodies. So probably throw on a carbon fiber front lip, make it look a little more aggressive. Um, I also did order some goodies for the interior, which should be here hopefully soon. So on the interior, the steering wheel, nothing wrong with it. A lot of guys go like a full carbon steering wheel setup. I still want to keep all my little controls, but I did order a new um, airbag cover. So it's going to have like nice red stitching, Lexus logo being carbon fiber, nice leather. So it'll be real nice. The shift knob, I also did order a carbon fiber one with some red stitching so those will be coming pretty soon and i'll do an install video on it um some stuff that kind of bug me so the interior over here you can see that the carbon fiber is lifting a little bit on the passenger side so probably have to get that really clear coated uh wasn't like that when i got the car but i guess you know a few months into ownership maybe if the texas sun and all that it kind of clear coat fade over time so i'll get that fixed and uh, I've had friends ask if I want to do like an exhaust. I mean, I do enjoy the stock exhaust setup. In normal mode, it sounds great. It sounds like any other Lexus. But in sport mode, that V8 comes alive. So I do kind of like it stock, you know, just so I'm not annoying my neighbors. My wife doesn't get scared to ride along in my car. But maybe, I don't know, a heart maybe. Um, I've debated on doing wing risers. So this wing does come up at 55 miles an hour it looks pretty cool right now since it's you know uh, below 25 miles an hour is flat um some guys do a wing riser like a one inch riser to kind of elevate it to make the wing look up all the time so that could be an idea maybe i'll do i'm not sure yet um engine bay i do have a titanium oil cap that i got from my buddy roy he sold it off his lexus gsf uh, so maybe i'll throw on the titanium oil cap but um yeah, I don't know. Maybe an intake. Uh, I, I see a lot of really nice Tom's Racing parts made for the RCF platform. So, I don't know. We'll see. But for right now, I'm just trying to enjoy it as long as I can in the stock form. Would love a set of wheels, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get wheels in the future. All right. So, hope you guys like this video. Again, if you guys stay to the end, make sure to leave a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe. We're trying to hit 15,000 subscribers this year in 2024, and I'm pretty positive we can do it. We're getting pretty close. Um, you know, if I can grow the channel to 20K by the end of 2024, that'll be even better. But yeah, first immediate goal, 15,000 subscribers. Let your car friends know, let your family members know. Anyone who's into cars or like to support a fellow small YouTuber, let them hit, you know, check out my channel, subscribe. Uh, put up four videos a week every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 9 a.m. Central Time. Thank you so much, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.